my boys what is going on it is your boy daddy mac and welcome back to another pokemon sword and shield team builder we had three wi-fi battles with the previous team with gigantamax hatterene if you guys have not checked it out be sure you to do so we have another team today or for these next three wi-fi battles and it's your boy kapraja um i honestly have not i don't have a lot of words to say about kapraja to be honest with you um I've, see, I've seen the stats. I'm not very impressed, but I said, you know what? We're going to try to use it anyway. So we got a Copper Jaw holding an Assault Vest. We are an adamant nature Copper Jaw with 252 HP, 252 attack, and the rest into special defense. So we can try to take advantage of an Assault Vest. Um, I'm kind of like shrugging my uh, shoulders a little bit because I, I'm not sure, to be honest, if this is going to work. But we're going to try it anyways. Heavy Metal doubles the Pokemon's weight. Which is why we are running Heavy Slam and Heat Crash. So hopefully those two attacks are going to do a lot of damage towards my opponents. We got Power Whip, which is another powerful atta attack for um, coverage um, purposes there. And that's why we got Power Whip there. And then we got Super Power for Max Knuckle and for coverage also. So hopefully this Copper Jaw will be a little bit better than what I am thinking it will be. Um, I did give it a mint is why he is adamant nature. But yeah our team by the way just a little fun fact not that you guys might care or anything is full of timer balls and our six pokemon are going to be um in timer balls so uh yeah the second pokemon that we are going to be using today is a choice banded flygon now we did use a choice scarf flygon in our shifu uh, single style strike team and it did prove to be a pretty good pokemon now i said you know what what if we slap a choice banded uh, a choice band into this thing it's gonna be pretty good i got a feeling it is at least um so we got choice band uh flag on here with levitate of course is the only ability it has 252 attack and 252 speed i did think about giving this thing an adamant nature so that it takes a lot of uh it takes advantage of the choice banded just like uh High dragon did last team with the choice specs which proved to be pretty clutch at times um we got 252 attack and 252 speed on this flygon we got u-turn as our pivot attack which we're probably going to be clicking on a lot to be honest with you guys we got dragon claw which is going to be a stab attack fire punch for coverage with these pesky uh pesky feral thorns kind of uh, running around learn how to talk please adding back i mean seriously we got earthquake which is going to be our primary stab attack on this flag on so hopefully she will be able to do a lot of damage with uh choice banded earthquake so i'm honestly not feeling a whole a lot of confidence within this team but i'm hopefully it proves me wrong right so yeah um now the next pokemon that we have is going to be an avalug avalug is a pokemon that i've been wanting to use for such a long time i used it back in generation six and x and y um, it didn't have full IVs, but I did EV train it, and it didn't have a really good nature. And this thing is so bulky in this defensive side that, you know what? It's it's amazing. That's all I got to say about it. Um, you guys are going to see how good this Pokemon is. We're running Rocky Helmets here. We are running own tempo to prevent it from being um, confused there. So we got 252 defense, 252 HP. Uh, that way we can maximize this thing's defense with an impish nature we got rapid spin on this thing and i know you guys are probably thinking i should run heavy duty boots since it's going to be my rapid spinner but hear me out this is going to be my rapid spinner i got rocky helmet because this thing is so bulky on the physical side that it's not even going to matter it's not going to matter we got body slam to try to paralyze some of my opponents normally i would run toxic but toxic is not a tm in this generation therefore we're running body slam we got recover for recovery and that's why we are not running the heavy duty boots and we're running avalanche which is a really cool move on this pokemon given that if we take damage within the same term the base power to avalanche is going to be 120 which is going to be clutch at times so i'm excited to use this pokemon now the next pokemon in our team i think this is pokemon number four is going to be cramorant and i know what you guys are thinking really daddy mac cramorant out of all pokemon in the pokedex in the gallery region you are using cramorant the answer to that is yes and let me tell you why this pokemon is not the greatest pokemon you guys probably already know that but i said you know what it has such a unique ability that i want to try to use it so we do have the life orb here to boost the attacks of my Cramorant. It's going to be basically an all-out attacker to an extent. We got 252 speed, 252 special attack with Gold Missile, which is the only... I think it's the only ability that it gets. I could be wrong. Um, with the Modest Nature. And the reason I'm running Modest Nature is because we're going to be running Agility. So hopefully we get to set things up. 
we got surf hurricane and ice boom for coverage moves now i did think about bringing a uh, rain setter on this team but it's just not gonna happen so we're gonna try to hit the hurricanes as is i mean i've seen people use thunder against me a bunch of times and they managed to land somehow so yeah hopefully we get some uh, pretty good stuff going with the hurricane here so wish me luck everybody now the fifth pokemon that we have on our team builder is going to be a meow stick a beautiful meow stick beautiful male meow stick holding the light clay and just by the item you guys already know the role that this meow stick has in my team 252 hp 252 defense with the prankster ability so really this is the this is going to be the pokemon that we're going to be opening up with a lot of the time given that we are going to set the light screen and reflect we got thunder wave to try to slow things down and we got charm to try to weaken the th attack to a couple things here and let me tell you how this team works how this meow stick works so we're going to open up with the with the meow stick we're going to set up either a reflect or a light screen depending on what my opponent has maybe set up a thunder wave first turn i am not sure yet so once we have our screens up we are going to switch out into copra jaw given that it's our assault vest and try to get some sweeps going with that um thunder wave is there because my team is not very fast as you can already see we got um, really the fastest pokemon in our team is going to be the flygon so far cramorant to an extent because it has the agility and then number three you guys are going to see the next fastest pokemon in my team which um you guys are probably going to be surprised about this pick i hope but yeah that's the purpose of our meow stick here this is a bold nature to try to maximize the defense and the hp kind of it's 148 hp is why it's not really maxed out the final Pokemon that we're going to be using in this team is going to be a Sock. Sock is a Pokemon that was introduced in Generation 5. And in Generation 6, I came across this Sock. The, well, this person using a Sock who was absolutely intense. Let me tell you about it. He brought in the Sock, set up a bulk up. I brought it down to its sturdy and it uses Salic Berry and it just swept my entire team. So that's exactly what the sock is going to do, I hope at least. So we got Salic Berry Sock with an Adamant Nature, 252 speed, 252 attack. The reason we are running at Adamant Nature is because of the Salic Berry boost. And we got Bulk Up to try to maximize the attack. We got Earthquake for uh, coverage. Thunder Punch for coverage and close combat as our primary stab attack. So there you have it. That is our team. Very cool, unique team that I feel like I built. Um, so yeah, let me know your guys' thoughts. Shout out to my boy Neuhart. He posted a video um, on Wednesday of last week that had me in it and it had me rolling. So go check it out. I'm going to put his link in the description down below so you guys can check it out. But that is our team. Make sure you guys leave a like if you guys enjoyed this team builder or if you think this team is going to succeed. Make sure you comment down below if you guys have any thoughts or changes about this team that you would make if you were in control of this. Whether it's moves, Pokemon, you know, things of that nature. I personally try to use Pokemon that I have not used before. And that's why my team builders tend to be all over the place sometimes in my Pokemon selection. Look at Sock's feet. I've never really realized that. That is kind of awkward. But anyways... Subscribe to my channel for more Pokemon Sword and Shield team builders and Wi-Fi battles and other games. I got a lot of plans for you guys coming up, so I hope you guys are excited as I am once you guys see the content I drop for you guys. But anyways, I will see you guys next time.